So welcome to this 40 minute conditioning workout where it's total body. All you need for this workout are two light hand weights. They can be bottles of water, baked bean cans, dumbbells, or like me, I'm using two and a half kilogram plates for this one. And also if you have got a bigger weight, you're gonna need a bigger weight today. If you haven't got a bigger weight, just use the light weight you got, or maybe if you're holding plates, maybe stack them when I ask you to. If you have got a solid surface, then grab yourself a mat. I'm gonna move that out of the way for now. So the way this works is we do a nice, gentle warm up, wake this up, as well as waking all this up, and then total body. Okay, some new, weird, and wonderful movements for you today. Take as many drinks as you like, any injuries, please work around them. I'm gonna push play on some music, and then we are gonna do this. So let's go. That sounds good. Give me a step touch. Up. Just right to left, that's all I want. Can you step touch to me, please? Can you stay here, please? Who's in the back guard on? Take it back, please. Stay here, please. Let's do that again, bring it forward. A little bend in your knee. Stay here, just chill. Take it back, take it back. I'm like, which camera would I look at right here? Stay here. Hey, when you come to me, can you kind of give me a sideways, a little lateral raise? You can hold up here. Back it up, back it up now. Get your elbows up. Go on, Todd. Get those elbows up. Let's try one more. Hup. That's it. Turn it up. Hold up. Back it up. I got a brand new move for you. You want this? Check. Right leg, left leg. It's a side tap. Now you can put your heel down. You can push the side of your foot down. Or you can just tap your toe. Francesca's got the arms going already. Yeah, come on. Okay, you can stay here. Or you can jack with me. Say oh la la. Again, if you don't love this anytime you want to get back to the side tap, go to it. And you don't even have to add your arms here. You bring the first two moves together. Step touch to me. La la. Check your feet, everybody. Hup. Take it back now. Hup. Check it up now, don't forget. Option could be here, yeah? Do it again, do it again now. Without a doubt. Back it up right now. I know Todd's ready for a new move already. Let's give him a new move. Great vine, three steps. Just walk. That way, Burns. Just walk. It's our leg taps. Just walk, he said. And that's it. You want another new move? Step tap your toe. A little knee flexion. Then just smash your new trainers into the floor. Say oh! Say oh! You might be your middle finger and your thumb as well. Snap it. You know you can take a double time, Ali. Go get it. This is Ali's warm up this evening. So bend the knee and then tap your toe down gently. This 128 BPM. It's gonna sound pretty quick, hey? Eh? Hey, listen. Great vine. You go with a slow tap. Or you go with a quick tap. I like the quick tap. I swear my head from side to side. Get that beat. Bring it up. Bring it up. Snap it up. Should we bring it together? What we got so far? Step touch to me. Get your arms up, please. Four jacks when you get there. Now listen carefully. We've got a great vine. Take it over this way. Tap your toes. Because that's how it goes. Can you take it back? Step touch. Up. Check your feet. So you get your side tap. Then at the end of the grapevine, you've also got the option of the slow tap. So you make a choice. Gonna run through that one more time. Yes, just a Francesca. Bring it. Huh. Check it. Huh. Oh sh my gosh! Tell me, can you hear that? Jack it. Move. Tap it up now. 
got a new move for you. Step, lift your left knee. Right knee. Get your knees up. Get your toes up. Dance with me. Bring them up, bring them up. Look at my hands. Raise the roof. Get your fingertips to the ceiling, Kareen. Okay, can you give me two more here? Now three taps, left leg, tap your toe. Swahitch. I said tap your toe. Your knee comes in. Your hip turns in. You show me your ankle. Twisted. You can leap on it if you want to. If you feel like you're ready, a little bounce to the sides. And then get as low as you like there. Ali, would you like another move? How about a hamstring curl? You want to give it a whirl? Stay here. Extend the levers. So your arm is going to extend as your leg's going to flex from the knee. You can squat in between. Oh, we're working out now. Go on, Val. What have you said? What have you said, Burns? What have you said, Mooney? Single, single, double. Double laps. Switch. Double right. Great way to get some warmth into the backs of your thighs. What about the calf so? My calves still need a little bit of something else. How about this? I'll hop around the corner. Single, single, turn to the right. Hop on your toes. You can push that heel down as well. If you want it, take it. I think it's time to bring the whole thing together. Step touch to me. Step touch to me. Get your arms up, please. Now check your feet. Good, 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 great vine. With a fast tap or a slow tap. New move to take it back. Two knees. To get back like this. Let's go. Triple tap down. Do it again now. To the hamstring kill and turn. Or double. You choose. Switch. Should we do it again from the top? Step touch it up. Come on. Check your feet on the beat. Tap it up, remember? Slow. Totally cool with that as well. How do you get those knees up when you take it back? My left knee to my right knee. I'm a triple. Switch. To the hamstring curl. To the body to the right. Switch. Do the whole thing two more times. Bring it forward. Up. Could you see this all night? Oh my cup of tea. I like to move my body. Tap it out, everybody. Great vine in the party. Get your knees up as you take it back. Great shot there, Burns. Gonna get really close to your camera. Hamstrings. What's he on about? Do one more. Say yes, please. Yes, please. Bring it to me. I need some dumbbells for that move. Tap it up, tap it up. Tap it up, tap it up. Let's get back now, yo. Two knees this time. Triple tap this time. Then my glass of wine. It's my hamstring curl. Okay, we always start with the same move. And that's a squat. Let's get your heels somewhere outside your hips. And give me a nice slow one to start. Now I say your heels somewhere outside your hips. Because if you want to go wider, you go wider, okay? Chest up, suck in, and push through your whole foot. It's like we're still in the warm up. We're just trying to mobilize a bit more for the hip, knee, and ankle joints here. Sit your hips back, allow those knees to come forward. Just don't lose any weight from the heel. Shall we go quicker? Oh, check out the sound. It's getting serious now. Now we're unloaded. There's no bar, there's no plate, there's no weights. So you're free to go as low as you want to go. You want to go for more of a mobility squat. Get your butt lower than your knees. You want to stay parallel? Then go ahead and stay with me. If your knees aren't up for that, take a bit off. You don't have to go too low. It's up to you, yeah? Okay, let's get some blood pumping into the thighs. With the bottom half before you rise. Halfway. And then we push. Drive it up and you work your tush. Everything rhymes. Now serious blood pumping. Three pulses, go get it. Three, two, one. Again, drop it. Make sure we're not hip hinging. That ain't the squat. Gotta get that knee bend. So that's why we let them come forward. I want four more here. Keep going. Okay, now the first two exercises, we should know 
We're going to use them for a bit of practice first. I'm going to give an option to grab a plate, okay? Check it. Right toes forward, left foot back. Now we call this a crossover lunge or a curtsy lunge. Right toe and knee comes forward. So we are going to weight this up a little bit later, okay? But it's up to you if you want to do that. How about quicker? Eight singles. Eight. You got seven. You count down six. And there's your five. There goes your four. Just a couple more. Okay, check it. This leg here steps out to the side and stick. Now catch the leg. Do it again. Now catch the leg. If you don't want to catch the leg, you need your arms. You can do this to help you balance. Eight singles again. You ready? Go get it. Hey, it's not this. Look at my knee. It's not this. Now look at my knee. It's this. I'm trying to load my hip. So push it out here. I'm going to go to the other side. Step it back. Nice and slow. Anything you like with your arms. Just think like your legs are choreographed, but your arms are free. You choose. You got eight. Pump it. Sleeping Beauty. Time to wake up. This back leg out to the side. Make it stick. Come back. Okay, remember this is just practice. Just get a feel for the movement. Now, when we do this again with a plate, if you want to stay unloaded, you can stay unloaded. Just give me four reps of sight. It's only practice. If you're staying with it, you can give me the full eight. If you want to grab a plate, you grab one now. It's a big plate, or if you want a small one, you take a small one. Now left leg back, start here. You cross it over as we drop, and then we come back up. Now listen, if you're not loving the crossover lunge, you can always do the standard lunge, but cross that plate over. Let's go, quick! Now, stability is going to be tested now. Knee still comes forward, over the center foot. Throw it over the thigh, but try not to lean forward. You got two more here. Now check, as your left leg steps out, we go up with a plate. Come back in, hold it. If you can't balance, you can tap the left toe down, okay? It's up to you. How about eight quick wipes? Go get it! Push it. You got to push it. Keep it coming, keep it coming now. It's one way of raising the heart rate, right? One more. Change it over. Cross over lunge, slow. Practice. What does practice make? Nothing. Unless it's perfect practice. Practice the perfect thing. And you get it perfectly. Eight quick ones. Throw it. Just to engage the core a little bit more. Throw it a little quicker as well. How low you go is up to you. Let's try and go as low as you can. Two more. Right leg. Push this above your head. If you're not holding a plate, you can do what you like with your arms, or even push your arms up, and then just bring them down to here. That's up to you as well. One more like this, and then eight quicker reps. You ready? Go get it, Francesca. Did we do seven last time? Yes. We're gonna bring it together. We've got the crossover lunge, the side slip and lift. We'll get together. Change size now. One crossover lunge. Step out. Do it again. Cross. Push up. Oh! Push! How low again? Up to you. Just know you've got four more. Coordination as well now. Gonna be tested. Now listen, last rep is only the crossover lunge. So finish it here. Change sides. Go get it! Is this your good side? Or is this your great side? This is my good side. My last side, I was awesome. I know what you're thinking. I wish we had four more. Ah. Up in the gym, working on my fitness. Plate goes down. Remember this from last week. Right hand. Left hand. Left hand. 
Now here's your option. Right hand, knees under your hips. And then come back. You can do the same thing with the left hand. So watch, from that position, how close are my knees to the floor? Pretty close, right? That helps keep my hips flat to my back long. Full version, all the way out. Hands on the shoulders, lean forward before you come back. Cool. Keep alternating, right to left. There's your right. How long are you going to go? There's your left. I'll give you one more each side, and then we're going to load the upper body more. Come back. Okay, left hand. We're going to stay down. Take your feet wider. Now listen. Stay here. Hands on the shoulders. Hips up. Flex through the arm. Scoop under. Now come back. All the way through. Do it again with a scoop under. Flex the arm. Extend the arm. Flex the arm. Extend the arm. Option on your knees. Here. Totally fine to do this as well. Sit back. Again. Flex. Extend. Flex. It's like two reps per rep. Scrape your nipples along the floor. Set. Chafing. You got two more people. Finish it. I'm gonna give you a break away from press ups and upper body. Grab your mat. Okay, everybody's favorite movement. Laying on your back. We're not quite finished with the glute wheel yet. A bit more glute work, right? I want your heels down. Push through them. You know this move. A bit more hip extensor work. Just a little bit more. Remember, it's also hamstrings and right the spine line of the lower back. You got that. So you go quicker than that. Go. Now, if your hands on the floor, palms up. Functional training now. Seriously functional. You need this move. To keep the population going. Too much apple squash today. Hey, listen, keep your right foot on the floor. Two counts to the top, pick it up. Again, we dig the heel. We're squeezing that one side now, yeah? That flat foot pushes down into the floor. Just make sure you're not using your arms. You can test it. Eight singles, go. Eight, seven. As high as you can go. I always say knee to shoulder, one long line in between. Doesn't always work out like that when we get tired, does it? We're getting tired now, yeah? Let's go to the left leg. Slow to start. So you can keep your arms down. Just don't push into them. We're not pushing through the arms. We're trying to use as much of the glute, hamstrings, and lower back as we can. But mainly that left glute. Are you ready? Eight quick ones. You want to be sure? Get your hands up off the floor. For four more. Love it. Let's go back to the right side. Nice and slow. Can you feel your weight pushing through the heel? There's no stress in that knee. And the patella tendon. Leave it alone. Eight quick ones. Let's go. Keep it coming, keep it coming now. Should we switch it back to the left leg for one more set? Slow. Creep it. Ease it. Again. Last set. If you get higher, get higher. And if you just got higher then, why weren't you working harder before? You got eight. Quick ones. Pump it. Just finish off with that beat before I get you back up onto your feet. I'm going to destroy your arms before we do the press ups. Roll up. Okay, I'm going to move my mat out of the way. I've always seen a slip and slide on it when I'm standing on it. I'm just going to get out of the way for now. Two light plates, baked bean cans, dumbbells, deltoids. Okay, just a little warm up first. Sideways. Hey! 
We did these in the warm up. You want to make it easier? Make it look like you made it look in the warm up. Flex your arm. Pump it. Go. Hang in here now. Identical sets for each deltoid. This is side head, the middle. Now lean forward, get the rear head, the back. Now this is too much, palms to the back, lift of the elbow. Look, back ahead, all the way down to your sacrum, nice and long. So push your hips up, push your chest out, and go quicker. Shoulder blades driving down the rib cage. They call that scapular depression. Doesn't mean your shoulder blades are all depressed. They're dropping down the back. Now palms to thighs, two counts wide, rise up. Again, to make it easier, bend the arms. It's a shorter the lever, the lighter the load. How are we looking? Go on, Talal, eight singles. Right now. Squeeze. Reach it. Like a superhero. Okay, one more transition to here. Left arm. Right arm. Now look at my arms. My forearms are in line. So it's not this. I want to bring my elbows in closer together. So they're over the wrist. Let's go quicker. Now look where I come down to. Am I coming down to here? No. Why? Because that's resting. We can rest when we finish the workout. Well, Ali can't. He's got another workout to do. Don't work too hard, Ali. Both arms. Finish it. It's always tempting to look up. Even I can't help it. But try not to do this. No headaches. No neck stress. If you are leaning back and popping the ribs, step back, shift the weight forward. Okay? How's Todd? Todd's like, yeah! Yeah! And you rest back. Everything leveled up 100%. Slow! Ah, oh, this is nice now. This is nice. This is what you came for. Beautiful shoulders. Beautiful shoulders. Let's chisel our deltoids with eight singles. Pump it. And you haven't got anything lighter? Again, smaller range, shorter lever. You choose. Then again, we hit the back head of the shoulder. Francesca, we tip forward and we open for two. Try not to elevate the shoulders, so we're not squeezing up the neck or the upper traps. Shoulders, not traps. Deltoid. Eight singles. Go get it. Oh. I said I was going to destroy your arms, eh, before the press-ups. What, you mean we haven't done those press-ups yet? Nope. Stand up. Palms to thighs. Two, two. Slow. So this is anterior down. Just give a little warm-up. They're pretty strong here. It's not too bad this one, is it? Maybe you're a little bit more tired now, but it's still not too bad, okay? You use them all the time. Pump it. When you do your chest presses, and your bench presses, and your dumbbell presses, and your shoulder presses. Anterior delt, always firing up. Got one more. Transition. Hup. Let's go quick. Left, right, pump it. This is nice. I like alternating. I like alternating, although it's isolated, although it's isometric, it's still quite nice. That little hold, even though we're still in the contraction, still feels like a slight break, doesn't it? Okay, listen, you've only got eight more singles, both arms together for burns. Go get it, burns. Now, really try and keep your elbows close in. Under the rest, so not coming out here and not coming out here. Straight up straight down. You've got two more, then I'll let you put your dumbbells down for a moment. Lose them. Roll it. If you want to get something lighter, you can do. But there's only a short set. If you're happy with what you've got, triceps. Elbows up, bend the knees. Reciprocal. Three, two, one. Switch. Three, reciprocal means both arms are moving. There's one's going up, one's coming down. Now, we always say in like gyms, don't knock out your elbow. Or classes, normally, don't knock out your elbow. But in this workout, knock out your elbow. I want a big range. Squeeze the back of your arm. Come down to that 90 degrees of elbow flexion. What we don't do 
is bring it into the shoulder and we definitely don't move the shoulder. Okay, that's not triceps. That's giving recovery for your deltoid. Now listen, both elbows stay up, both arms, pop it. Hang in here now, this is it. Push your chest down, lift your hips up, keep it bending your knees. Two more brings, and everybody, we're getting down to the floor. Good stuff. Trying to get my mat back. Yes. We're going straight into plus ups. Now listen, normally, I would give you three sets with 16 and then eight. Because we're fatigued, we're gonna do two sets. Why press ups for 16? Now we're press ups for eight. That's 24 reps in a set. Knees or toes, let's go. Drop, drive. Chest down to the crease of the arm. You notice we've got a lot more upper body work as well today, right? Been spending so long hitting that lower body. Why not? Let's get strong. Now listen, hands under your shoulders. Eight triceps. Now, press ups are always triceps. But these ones even more so. Elbows shaping into the ribs. Heel the hands under the chest. For four. For three. And then I always give you that little bit of shaky time. Three. Sixteen. And eight. Here. Here. You ready? Knees or toes? Want to pull back more? Knees under your hips. Let's go. Send again. Try not to elevate your shoulders. Shoulders keep pressing down the back. Elbows in line with chest and over the wrist. Every time you're at the bottom of the movement, check that. More. Did he say four? I'm going to miss the last one again so I can reset to tricep. Eight reps, come on. Eight. Seven. Last four. And a bit more shaky time. Chill. Okay. Now I'm hoping you push it to your potential there. Okay, I didn't tell you that you could only do eight. We can only do four. Just want you to push yourself. But I'm going to tell you now, for the back extents to work, if you get to a point where you feel like you can't do any more, please rest, okay? It was a big set. We did this last week. Your hips are down. Your knees are down. Your feet are down. Now check. Fingers on your temples. We're going to lift the chest up first. Lift up. Open your arms. Touch and drop. But again, hips, knees, feet stay down. Relax your lower body. I want you focusing to your mid-back. So as you lift, we track the shoulder blades. Pull them into your spine. You've only got to do this two more times. And I'll give you a big number. 16 reps. Stay here. Reach forward. Keep your chest up. Now pull. 16. 15. It's a lap pull down. Elbows drawing into the ribs. So now we're driving the shoulder blades down the back. Squeeze in the lats. Keep your chest up and keep your eyes down. Seven, six, five. You know the rest. So again, just do as many as you can and rest with me now. Sit back. We are gonna do that again. So, any back issues and you know you've only got four reps or five reps, that's fine. Do what you gotta do, okay? Roll it. Release it, and here's an option for you. If this is too much, palms in and just lift here, okay? You know, like a sardine. Fingers on your temples. Lift and open. Touch, drop, again. So again, squeeze in and around those shoulder blades. Open those elbows wide, and take those arms wide to the side. You got four more, keep going. Now you know it, so don't look forward. Eyes should be down. Green and Kalau, look at the grass. Now stay here, reach forward. If you've got 16 open hands, squeeze first. 15, 14, keep going. 
Remember, it's only your chest that lifts. That's it. Just come onto your lower ribs. That's as high as you want to go. Then you've got tension already in that mid back. And then we pull down. Then really try and engage the lat as well, yeah? Come on, we're nearly there now. Push it. Push it. Tos doing some shoulder press with his barbell. Anything works, right? Hey, listen. Grab yourself a plate. Lay on your back. Okay. Three rounds. Four exercises. Three rounds. Four exercises. The weight's optional. Roll up. We go. Up. Two. Three. Four. Down. Two. Now, the longer your legs, the more you reach that plate in front of you. And if you exhale on the up and down phases, it's going to make it easier. You want to challenge? Bring your feet closer to you and reach the plate more up to the ceiling as you move. Let's try one more. This is your full roll up. Now, knees to 90 degrees. Reverse curls. Two counts, please. So roll your knees into your chest and then toe tap down. You get your sacrum away from the mat and you're rolling. Work in the lower portion of the reckless abdominus. Again, we can use the plate to help anchor the ribs down. So the head's down, the shoulders are down. If I was mobile and flexible enough, my elbows would be down as well. That ain't gonna happen though. Let's go driving Miss Daisy. Plate up, twist. One side, other side. So we're flexing the torso at the same time as laterally flexing the torso. It's a great workout for the obliques. Now again, you want it easier? We'll reach more toward the knees. If you don't want to use a plate, put it down, support your neck, and just do some standard curls. Totally fine. Four more here. Then the fourth exercise, the jackknife. So take that plate down behind you. Let's reach your toes to the ceiling. 16 reps. Now again, we just release the sacrum. That's as high as we need to lift here. Keep going. Now you want to make it easier. Bend your knees. Lead with the knee. And we're still getting those hips up. Can you hear that? Eight more. This is set number one. The set's continuous. One, two, three. You just get them done. Again, big reps. You just do what you can. Long legs, full roll up. Four, three, two. Now remember, a breathing pattern always helps. So, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Whip my cable from my head mic so you can still hear me. One more. Let's go into the reverse curls again. So flex your knees to about 90. Hold on to the plate, 2-2. Two, two. So we know that the longer the legs, the more load. So if you want to make it easier, just bend your knees more. If you want to make it harder, go longer. Because your hip flexor, or the psoas to be precise, originates from the lower back, the lumbar spine. So as the legs go out long, you get more pull on that spine. Which means those abs have to engage more. Let's keep that lower back in neutral. Drive it, Miss Daisy. Let's steer that wheel. On one side. I'm going to put my plate down for a moment. So this is the movement. It's here as we lift. We bring the rib to the same hip. That's lateral flexion, a little side bend, if you will. You want eight more? Then go get it. Last four. Feel that. It's like you're squeezing under your armpit. Now take it behind you. We've got jackknives. Let's go. 16. That's a really great movement. You struggle to work your, the lower portion of the wreck abs. It's a great one for this. Normally when we do crunches and sit-ups, we mainly feel it through the upper portion. That's where we're working more. The upper fibers. It's more about the lower. Always working as a unit. That's where you're going to feel it more. Two to go. Okay, reset. Last set. Four. Let's go. Up. Two. I'm going to bring my plate right in toward my knees now because now I'm getting tired. Now I'm going to focus more on my back roll. Roll up like you're peeling one vertebra off the floor and then you're replacing them one at a time. Still following the same breathing pattern because that helps. And for this last set, I'm going to bend my knees even more for my reverse curls. If you're happy with longer legs, or maybe you stand with a 90 degrees, you go with that. Keep going. Keep 
Either way, you got four more here. Keep it coming, keep it coming now. Last time, driving Miss Daisy. Go get it. Man, I wish I had a bigger steering wheel right now. Tell me you're burning, because I'm burning. My muscles are learning. They are being re-educated. New flag points. Couple more. Jackknife. 16 and you're done. 16. 15. Now keep going. Take it to the end. See how many you got. Just a stretch after this. So really keep pushing it. You got eight more. Come on. Seven. Four more. Yes, he just turned the music down. Make yourself nice and long. Well done. If you're using a hand weight, lose it. Lift that lower back higher. Ribs away from hips. Open the rec abs. Open the obliques. Gently pull one knee into a chest. Circle the foot. So remember, we're not here to increase our flexibility. We're here to detone. Calm the nervous system. So please stretch. Hip down, heel up. So it's just a quick release of everything we just fired up. Just so we're not shaking for the rest of the night. And you don't feel like you need a glass of wine. Francesca. Okay, cross that leg over. Feel it for the glutes and the hip abductors to the outer thigh. From here, shoulders down. Foot down, gently pull up on the knees. You've got a little west side J release. You still feel it for the outer thigh and through the hip as well. For that joint for the lower back. That takes a lot of stress just by walking and standing up. Give it a release. Switch. Other knee comes in. So as we bring the hip into flexion, we stretch out. Hip extensor. It's a nice one for gluteus maximus. Take that leg into extension. The hamstrings, back of thigh, hip stays down as your heel goes up. And we know we got three glutes. The other two are internal rotators. So we externally rotate the hips, push that knee out, and you hit those two in there as well. That's always a nice stretch. Taking that foot down, shoulder stay flat, pull up on that knee. So again, you might still feel it here, but also into that lower back if you're a little bit stiff. Which a lot of us are. Okay, roll yourself up in the easiest way you know how to. Take a big step forward now. You can stand up and do the same thing on the ball of the foot. If you're happy to be on your knees, stay there. Big lean over. The triceps, lats, obliques, QL, hip flexors. Open it all out. And the same here. If you'd rather stand up for your quad stretch, Go get it, heel in. Maybe you want to lie on your side, do the same thing there as well. Okay, switch it over. Big step here, tilt, lunge, reach, and lean. That little quadricep release. So again, heel comes all the way in. And if it doesn't, Try a different way. Stand up. Lay down. Just bend that knee. Okay, quick one for the hip adductors. Inner thighs. So feet out wide. Weight in the hands. Okay, so just a quick one. Rise up. Give me a little calf release by pushing that back heel down to the floor. Same time. Round the mid and the upper back to part the shoulder blades. And as you go for the other side, for the calf, heel down. Let's open the heart. Front to the shoulders, chest. And then holding your hands under your legs. That little release into the lower back. And then bending your knees, touching your toes. Rise it up, whatever you're doing this evening. Do it well. Catch some for you later on. Same again next week. Thank you very much and good night.